In just a matter of a few days, two women were seriously injured in separate bison attacks while visiting national parks. On Saturday in North Dakota, a, a woman suffered injuries to her stomach area and foot when bison charged at her. Then on Monday, a bison gored a woman in Wyoming. Both were sent to hospitals to be treated for their injuries, and investigations into the attacks are ongoing. Joining us now with more insight into this is Yellowstone Wildlife Safari Guide Grant T. Johnson. A grant, wow, uh, this sounds really scary, and both of these incidents are different, but I wonder, I mean, are people just getting too close to these animals, or is something else happening here? So overwhelmingly, the incidences that we see between bison and people are a result of people just getting too close to the animals. And right now, we have a bit of a convergence of two big contributing factors. First, we have the beginning of the bison rut. This is the beginning of the bison mating season. So both the male and female bison have elevated levels of hormones, and that makes them a little bit more agitated, a little bit more competitive on the landscape. Secondly, July is the busiest month for people to be visiting the national parks. And so the risk of being attacked by a bison or any other animal is outrageously low. With this many people in the park, it's not surprising that this is the time of the year that these types of things happen. Look, I'm going to ask the thing that I feel like everybody's probably thinking, uh, which is one, like it shouldn't be that hard to not go close to bison. Seems like a logical thing. And so my, my initial question, as I've seen these reports, is this like a social media thing? Is this people trying to take pictures of themselves? Why are people going so close to them in, 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 based on your experience? So I think it's a bit of a few factors. I think for sure social media has been a negative influence. People are trying to recreate photos they've seen or get a new photo that no one has ever seen. And doing risky behaviors is, is a way to get that done. Um, also, I think a lot of people do not have familiarity with real authentic wildlife. And when they come into these areas, they think that they're essentially visiting a zoo. And this is not a zoo. These are national parks. These are true, wild, authentic wildernesses. And these animals are wild and they're potentially dangerous if we push the limits with them. What is your advice to people if they find themselves, we're looking at some scary footage there, of a bison charging at someone. So what, what happens if you're in that situation? What would you advise people to do to basically save themselves from being seriously injured or perhaps un even killed? So the Park Service is very clear on their rules that they have set forth. And these aren't just polite suggestions. This is the law in the national parks. If you're in your car, there's essentially no risk. As long as you're pulled off the side of the road, you can stop, you can enjoy the wildlife, you can take photos, enjoy the experience. If you're outside of your car, whether that's walking, hiking, or just standing on the side of the road, you need to stay certain safe distances away from the animals. Bears and wolves, that's 100 yards, and all of the other animals, including bison, is 25 yards. If you see the animal drastically changing their behavior because of your presence, you are too close even if you're beyond those limits. So with bison, they are nice enough to give us warning signs that they are getting agitated. You will see this exaggerated head bobbing. You will see them kind of scratching and stomping at the ground. And most distinctly, you'll see their tail go up. If you see any of those factors happening, back up, increase the amount of space between, between you and the animal, and let other people know too that they're getting too close. You're not just putting yourself at danger, you're putting other people at danger, and you're putting the animals at danger. Yeah. Grant Johnson, uh, let's be clear, national parks are a treasure. It is absolutely worth doing that in the summer, but listen to the guidelines, listen to the safety warnings. Grant, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much.